Hey everybody, Brett from Stardew's Gaming here, back with another episode of our Numantia Let's Play. So, uh, we're gonna be jumping into, it looks like another battle here. It's sending me to the, uh, the Overland map rather than our little camp screen here. So, uh, usually means we're getting into a bigger fight. Uh, that said, it seems like, uh, interest in this game has fallen off a little bit. So, I'm gonna do maybe one or two more episodes and then gauge it from there see if you guys are still uh, interested but if you'd like to see more the best way to let me know that is to just be vocal in the comments or by hitting that like button or preferably both uh, but anyways uh, I think we took care of building up our army and whatnot in the last episode so I don't think I really need to bother with that at all and we can just jump right on in here alright so uh, let's click on this and it should take me right to the uh the event. So Nerto Briga, uh, allied with Numantia, is sending them men and grain. This worries the Roman Senate since it strengthens the Numantian strategic position and creates a disadvantage for the Roman armies planning a potentially prolonged confrontation halfway through winter. Uh, the order to attack comes down from Rome. Preparations need to be made uh, to siege Nerto Briga, thus uh, indirectly weakening Numantia. Alright, so I get 14 units. Um, I definitely don't want to be running with these weakened velites. So, what do I still have? Uh, ooh, neither of you is at full strength. That's unfortunate. Um, give me my equites. I'm bringing the elephants and the scorpio. That is fine by me. Uh, what do I have infantry-wise? Let's see... I don't know why it wants me to deploy all these wounded units. Um, so you two are going to go. And I'll bring at least those two. I may have to bring another injured one, but I would rather not. Unfortunately, um, it looks like two of my named characters are injured as well. They just don't seem to be recovering fast enough. And this campaign is not letting up on us. So we're going to have to take them. Uh, and then... I think they're too weak, so that really just leaves me with more infantry. Uh, so I guess the 190 and the level 2 Principes, and that's going to be our party. Wait, 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 no. I still have two more slots, so I may as well bring everything, I guess. I might end up losing troops here, but every little bit will count, so let's do it. Okay, deployment. Uh, so, let's see. Can I remember how to toggle through stuff? Yes. Perfect. Uh, are they deploying in front of me this time? It looks like they are. Last time they got kind of a advantageous position. So I'm going to get set up here and then I'll come back when we're ready. Alright, I'm all deployed, ready to go. So let's see. Uh, who's going first? They always go first, so we'll see what their movements are. Um, in comes their cavalry. I've deployed my cavalry over here to hopefully counter that a bit. Uh, luckily, it seems like they're targeting my named characters, who tend to have better durability than my uh, my generic troops, so that's good. Uh, they're spreading their slingers out too. Hopefully, they keep like this tight core of infantry, and I can kind of maneuver around them. For now, I think let's go for a flanking shot on this cav right here. So I should be able to set up right there and hit them from behind. That will open up this cavalry to potentially being hit in the back by either of those units. But I'm willing to take that chance. And yeah, pretty much exactly what I expected right there. That will open them up to being flanked by Nerva though. So it's just going to kind of you know continue one after another. Uh, more slingers moving up. What I might end up doing here is just completely ignoring their core of infantry because in the past what I've done is I've basically tried to like lock on with them and sort of counter infantry with infantry which is what I would do in like a total war game uh, but in this it doesn't seem to be working so instead I think I'm gonna try to keep my army more mobile completely ignore this and just maneuver around them and try to engage the lighter units if I can so, with this Scorpio, I'm going to attack this cavalry here. 60 damage, not too bad. Uh, let's see, Velites, uh, I need you to step back. 
And then, uh, can you, there you go. Do a little bit of damage there. That's pretty weak, but I guess every little bit helps. Uh, let's see. These Velites need to move up before they are in range. So, try that spot first. And see if that puts you in attack range. Not quite, so I'm going to have to move them a little bit closer. Unfortunately, I don't love the thought of that, but I can't really help it at the moment. Move there. Hold on. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so they're down to a little under half strength. We'll try to stay on them as best we can. I'm also going to do my best to keep my infantry out protecting these guys if I can help that as well. Uh, so, Aselius, move up to here for now. Actually, scratch that. I don't want to get too close to this, or put myself in a position where they can, you know, run up on me. But I do need to protect my ranged troops, so... You know what? Go here. Yeah, do that. He might go down, just because he doesn't have a whole lot of health at the moment. But I can't really help that. And then let's see. The elephants. Um, you guys do not have very much morale. Or particularly good movement. That's kind of sucky. Uh, I guess move to there. I'm not going to risk them breaking just to move one extra tile. So that'll be it. Uh, and we'll go ahead and end that cycle. So what are they going to do? Up moves their infantry. Not sure what their goal is there. But again, I'm going to try to ignore them if I can help it. I do need to dispatch this cavalry because they're going to harass the hell out of us if I don't. Okay, so uh, Scorpio, hit them again. Good job. Aselius, I'm not sure what to do with you right now. I could actually just have you go maybe kill them. Let's try it. I think he got him. Yes, he did. Perfect. So he was able to go snipe those guys. Corvinus, uh, you were the one that has the defensive ability. Um, you know what? Since you're so close, run over here and hit these guys in the back. Because they're giving us some trouble as well. And if I can cut down their mobility, I'll have an advantage there as well. Uh, Hastati, I need you to flank. Everybody should be flanking. That might be enough to finish him? No, not quite. Not quite. But we didn't take any counterattack damage, so that's a small bonus. Uh, these are the auxiliary Celtiberians. I'm not sure where the best place to put them is. If I go there, they might be in range to hit those guys. Yes, let's do that. Uh, 45, that's worse than the Velites. And let's see, these Hastati, I think, can get the kill, so let's do that. So down they go, and that's the end of that cavalry unit. So now we just need to surround and kill that one and then chase down their range units. And from there, we'll probably just use hit and run tactics on the uh, infantry. I do, however, need to remember to protect this. I can't let them just march straight on it. Uh, for now, I'm gonna move you there. Because I'm gonna try to get them up over here to fight these guys. Uh, go ahead and use that ability. There we go. Not that that has helped us much in the past, but we'll go ahead and use it again. Nerva, go ahead and flank those guys. Oh, took a little bit of counterattack damage there, but he did dish out quite a bit of punishment as well. Um, let's march you here for now. I just want to make sure that they don't get to these guys. So stay right there. Go ahead and use your ability just in case they decide to attack you. Uh, these Hastati are going to move up here to support. Right there is good. Cool. 
So it looks like their slingers are up, and we can expect to take quite a few volleys this turn. Yeah, these guys got wrecked. 71. Damn. Maybe I should be using slingers instead of, uh, 96? Maybe I should be using slingers instead of, like, velites. Um, I'm not even sure what to do with you, to be honest. Uh, I wonder if it's worth just running them off the map, getting them out of attack range. Because if, if they die, then I lose this unit permanently. But uh, I might be able to keep them alive. And since they're not in any shape to really help out in combat, I don't know that it's worth like doing like a suicide attack on a unit just for a little bit of extra damage. Although this unit could potentially run down here and kill them. Let's see, they're going to engage... I think that was Aselius there. Uh, he did give them... Really, they attacked him in melee. That's a pretty strange move by the AI there. They did get the better of him, but still, I they probably could have done the same or at least close to the same amount of damage without having to take any counterattack. So I question that, and yeah, they... Oh no, they're going to try to snipe my Bellates, and they did. You bastards. Alright, well, Scorpion, um, do me a favor and start firing into these guys, I guess. She'll be a little bit more effective at hurting them than uh, my other troops will. Let's see. Velites. Let's have you retreat one and then hit them. Alright, I'll take that. I forget what his abilities do. Hmm. If you move there... What? No. Go there. Yes, do that. I'm not sure what that did. That might have been the, the phalanx ability, but again, there's no tooltips, so I can't really tell. Uh, and then with the elephants... I think what I'll do is I'm going to move... I don't want to engage them head-on, if I can help it. I guess do that. Since you're having a hell of a time moving around here. Uh, did that kill him? No, but it did do quite a bit of damage. Alright, and that will be the end of that turn. So it's time for their infantry to start moving. It looks like they're going to go for the kill here, which I expected. So there's one of our infantry units down, unfortunately. But we have dealt with all their cavalry, and uh, we shouldn't need too much more effort here to take out their... Uh, slingers. Oh, we actually got the better of them there. And he got the counter strike in as well. So that's what I should be doing. Is I should be setting up uh, like shield walls next to Aselius and then using that ability. Although they only get one counter attack, so it's not going to help us that much. Uh, let's see. Fire at them. Another 60 damage there. They have a shitload of HP, though. Uh, let's have you flank them. You will get counterattack damage, but can't really be helped. Yikes. He might die. Well, they can't die, but they can be wounded. Uh, Corvinus, I need you to start attacking something, anything. Oh, wait. They still do have cavalry up. My bad. Not for much longer, though. So one more unit. Um, let's see. Hastati. Yeah, go ahead and finish them off. And I can send these two after them. Good job. Oh, not good job. You couldn't couldn't finish the task, apparently. Uh, go ahead and move there and engage those slingers. 45 damage. So yeah, they're they're definitely putting out better hits than we are. Um I'm going to have you guys advance this way. Face in that direction. I'd rather start pursuing them if I can. And then go ahead and uh, turtle up for me. Alright, with you... 
I'm going to move here and then I guess flank that unit. Good job. So they're basically dead now. Uh, Principes. I'm not sure if I should attack, to be honest. Can I not get behind? I suppose if I did that, I could. I think that should count as flanking, because it's technically behind them. Um, and there was a lot of blows exchanged there. We were able to deal 78 damage without any counterattack, so that's nice. Uh, these Hestadi are going to flank this Phalanx. And they look like they're going to get the better of us still. Yeah, it was pretty even, which doesn't work in our favor. Yikes. So down he goes, unfortunately. Uh, but he'll be back. They, again, can't die permanently. They just get wounded. Uh, these equites are just going to flee. Because I don't want to risk them dying and having to completely rehire that unit. Because they're expensive. Uh, and that's the only one in that bracket, so I can go ahead and end that turn. It looks like it's their cavalry's turn, as well as some of their slingers. Let's see, they're going after my elephants. My elephants can take quite a bit of punishment, though. They're going to attack my Principe's head on. And do about even damage. Which still doesn't make sense to me, but okay. And he's going to fire at somebody and do a tiny bit of damage, but there's only one of him, so I can't imagine him being that lethal. Uh, and then you almost killed yourself attacking us. Alright, so let's see here. Um, can't fire on them. Can fire on these guys, so go ahead and target that unit. There's another 60 damage. Doesn't really seem to be doing a whole lot, though. Velites, um... See if you can't finish them off. Almost got it. Alright, elephants, uh, you have a perfect flanking opportunity right there. You are going to get counterattacked, though. But you did kill a few of them. Yeah, that's what I like to see, 135. So that's the end of that bracket. They're going to attack my Velites head on and probably do, yeah, a lot of damage. But better than them attacking the Scorpio that can't really defend itself. Uh, although, yikes. That was a nice little pincer move they pulled off there. So down go those Velites for good. Uh, I don't think these Principes are going to be far behind. Yeah, this, kind of, this area here is kind of folding on me. That's what I get for sort of ignoring their main infantry force. But their infantry is so much better than mine, I can't really, it can't really be helped. Like, if I engage them head-on, I end up losing anyways. I wish I could fire on these units. I don't know why they can't just turn. But okay, uh, fire there then. You are going to get your ass kicked in, like, a turn, so be ready for that. Corvinus, um... Do me a favor and attack them, even though you don't have any any uh, morale to spare. We're going to use up a little bit there to get some extra damage on them. Maybe he can turn that around. Meanwhile, you guys are going to go for the kill, and you should have no problem getting it. There it is. And that will give, I think, everybody a little bit of morale. Uh, meanwhile... You guys are going to join this fight as well. Mm. The thing is, they're facing me. I'm going to actually go for the uh, attack in the rear right there. Let's see if it does more damage. 72, a little bit more. I think we hit for 45 last time we attacked, so I will accept that. Uh, Hastati move here and finish those slingers off. And then Nerva can hopefully flank that unit. Yes, perfect. So go ahead and do that. Cool. That was a lot of damage. He has been invaluable so far. Alright, uh, with you guys. Uh, I guess move here and attack them from behind. Looks like... 
Yeah, pretty good damage and no counterattack because somebody else already ate the counterattack. Hastati, uh, you can't move that way for whatever reason. Oh, because Corvinus is in the way. In that case, move here and try to finish off that slinger. Good job. So at least you were able to take somebody with you before you went down. New turn. We're going to eat a whole bunch of damage here. I don't think you guys are going to be too threatening, though. Oh, 72 damage from two slingers. Really. It, it was a shot in the back, so I'll give them that. Alright, Scorpio's turn. As soon as these guys go. Yeah, that Hastati unit is not going to make it. Alright, Scorpio, keep firing on them. 60 more damage. Uh, elephants, let's see here. I'm actually going to have you move here and attack there. Hoping that you can maybe get a kill and potentially draw them into attacking you. Rather than going after my scorpion. So 180 damage. Fantastic. Alright, and that's the end of that turn. They are going to move to engage my principes. Uh, so as long as these guys don't move down here, I think we'll be okay. I'm just trying to save the Scorpio. And it looks like I was able to, kind of. They're going to go engage... Oh, maybe not. Yeah, they're going to attack. The Scorpio is kind of durable. Um, you just obviously don't want it to be surrounded because it can't fight back. Um, and it can't fire if it's being engaged in melee. So uh, by just putting that one unit on it, they've taken it out of the fight. So we'll pass that turn. And um, let's see here. Yikes. You guys are getting destroyed right now. I feel like I haven't gotten a turn in a while other than my scorpion. Here we go. Are you the only one in that bracket? Yeah, so you're going to have to go ahead and pass. Scorpio's up again. Did we miss an entire bracket? I think we did. I think that was my fault too. I think I skipped it. So you're the only one in that bracket, yes. So they'll get a turn? Nope, it's my turn. Got it. Uh, do me a favor and finish those guys off. So that this thing can fire again. Because this thing is up this turn. So that should free them to attack now. Uh, and... What the hell was that? I only got one unit to go? Or were they in a separate bracket as well? I don't know, this system is kind of confusing, and frankly, a lot of stuff in this game could use some streamlining. But, that aside, it's a nice little turn-based, you know, tactical uh, strategy game. And I, I would enjoy it, I, I do enjoy it, but I would enjoy it more if I didn't have to deal with the constant, like, UI shit that's always coming up with this game. Alright, so I think that's the end of that unit. Um, let's see, Corvinus, finish off that phalanx so that they can't attack you or do anything stupid. Alright, Stadi, um, engage those range units. You should be able to kill both of them. Wow, that's kind of pathetic. Alright, these Hastati are going to move in for the kill, I guess. Good job. Alright, so that's one more unit down, and that gives them a bit of morale, at least. Uh, and let's see, Nerva. You know what? Move here, and then flank them. It's gonna cost him a little bit of morale, but uh, he should get a pretty big hit on these guys. Uh, he took a big hit back himself, unfortunately. I didn't think they'd be able to do that much damage when they are being flanked, but apparently they can. I don't know. Sometimes I, I wish I could see what the uh, AI's troops stats are, because it seems like they're pretty superior to ours in most cases. Uh, there goes Nerva as well, that's going to make this real difficult. Um, see how much damage you can do hitting them in the back. 
I guess it's just a flat 60 no matter what. Um, elephants, get over here, hit them in the back. Again. They're going to get another counterattack on us, but we hit them pretty hard. Okay. So they're going to engage this Histadi over here and kill them. Nope, apparently we just squeaked by with like 1 HP. Uh, but they'll probably finish them off. Nope, they're going to fortify. Alright, Scorpio. Um, see what you can do. Again, hitting them in the back. 35 damage. Apparently, that ability allows them to turn and face up, which kind of seems crappy. Corvinus, um, see if you can't finish him off. I don't think so, because, again, they're turning and facing. 71 damage, but again, still not enough. Uh, these Histadi are going to flee and hopefully stay alive. There's one less unit I'll have to rehire. Alright, and then with this unit, I'm going to try to go for a flank here. If they're in protect as well, it won't matter. Yeah, like, even, even when I'm attacking from behind, they're doing almost as much damage as I am. Let's see, you're alone, right? And I know they're level 2, but still, like, if a flank doesn't make a difference, then I don't know what I can do. Did one of my elephants go down? No, he was just unhappy about getting hit. Uh, let's see. Chip away at that unit a little bit. They're not in protect, so that'll be way more effective. Elephants, um... Get in here and see if you can maybe do the job. Oh, one of them did go down. So they'll be a lot less effective attacking now. Uh, but we might have gotten the kill there. Yeah, we did. Awesome. The elephant's really coming through for us here. And they're going to go for the kill on that Hastati. Because that's the, the shittiest thing they could have done. So, of course, they're going to do it. Uh, go ahead and hit them in the back again. Nice. What you get for turning your back on me. Uh, I'm going to send Corvinus after that unit of Slingers because he moves a little bit better than everything else does. Uh, and just continue to face in that direction so that they can't hurt you as bad. And then hopefully you guys can do the honors there. I would think like six against one, but you never know. Nope, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Alright, you just stay where you are. Man, we're going to have so many casualties to replace after this fight. Good job. We still took some damage there, but he did deal more than he got, so that's great. Uh, for whatever reason, they can't fire over here. So I guess you're going to do the honors over there. Down he goes, since the Stadi couldn't do it. Uh, elephant, hustle this way, because I need your help. That was actually a waste. I shouldn't have done that, because either way, it was going to take him two turns to get into combat, so I may as well have just kept him uh, back here. Like, it's not like he gained any significant any significant uh, ground there. Okay, so they reface, but that's all. No, nope, don't do that. I almost ended that turn. Uh, you guys just get moving. And I don't need to put you in protect because I've already got them engaged in melee. I screwed up. I again passed that turn. So we'll see how this plays out. They backed away and they're going to fire at the Histadi that I just said I didn't need to protect. But yeah, I skipped... Um, I skipped Corvinus's turn on accident there. Uh, so, Elephant, go ahead and attack. Alright. 45 damage, yeah. Not hitting nearly as hard now that they're uh, a bit hurt themselves. Scorpio, fire again. And that might be the end. 
I believe that was it, yes. So, we were victorious, although it was a very, very costly victory. Uh, we'll have to look at the butcher's bill here in a second. But uh, I imagine this is going to be a hard one to come back from. So, yes, uh, four out of five infantry deployed were killed. Um, the Hastadi that survived are at about half strength. Uh, two of my three named characters were wounded. Uh, they will come back. However, it's probably going to be a while before they're at full fighting strength. We were able to save our one unit of Equites, but it'll be a long time before they recover. All my range units were killed. Uh, my artillery was beat up a little bit, and my elephants were as well. So I don't think we're going to be ready for another fight in quite a while, unless it throws me a bunch of silver. So, uh, Nerdabriga has been conquered. Numantia's supply lines will be gravely affected with this victory. Okay. Uh, so winter is over. The soldiers welcome the reinforcements with cheers and applause. Uh, meanwhile, the consul's advisors review the resources and silver delivered from Rome. Hopefully it's a lot. 300 silver. Thank you. I needed that so bad. It's not going to go all that far, but uh, it'll, it'll have to do for now. Uh, I want to go into the base camp. Why are you not allowing me into the base camp? Okay. Uh, apparently not even this button works now. So uh, let's replenish our army here because things are not looking great for us. Oh, did everybody get healed? It looks like everybody got healed because we're in a new season. That's awesome. And we have a new companion, Scipio. Scipio Africanus, I imagine. Um, so let's see. How are we looking here? Uh, I've got... So I think it gave me some troops. I've got a unit of Principes and two units of Hastati. Um, I am kind of tempted to try the Triari. Just because everything we've deployed so far has been pretty worthless. But, you know, who knows? Hmm. I don't know. I, I'm tempted to level these guys up to level 2. And see... Oh, I wish I could see how much better they are now. Yeah, I wish you would let me compare stats, but it won't. So I should have should have looked at that harder before I went ahead and did it. Uh, meanwhile, I only have the one cavalry, so I could probably use more. Let's get you guys leveled up as well, because I think we're really behind the eight ball in that regard. I think that's part of why we're struggling so much against them, is because not only are their troops better, but they're level two versus our level ones. Uh, got one unit of Velites. I'm going to upgrade them as well. That puts me down to 200 silver, but that allows me to recruit much better quality troops now. And honestly, I wasn't too impressed with the Auxiliary Celtiberians. I haven't tried the Slingers yet. They have better range, but it says their damage is worse. So I think I'm just going to take Velites instead. I'm going to bring at least three. Because I think going range heavy is the, the way to go here. No new specialty units, so I can kind of spend whatever else I want to on infantry. Although leveling Scipio up might not be such a bad idea, so let's do that. And I'll probably bring all four of those guys because the the named characters are f a lot more effective than the normal troops because they don't lose efficiency when they start taking damage. Um, I'm gonna bring some more Principes because it seems like them in conjunction with Aselius's uh, phalanx ability. Actually, I think counter charge is what I use. That wasn't what I intended to use, but that's what I used and it actually did some nice damage. But uh, I think some Principes with his phalanx ability will help us dig in a little bit better. And that leaves me with 66, which I might just hold on to and sort of spend as needed. Because I've got, let's see, 4, 8, 10, 13, 15 troops. I've never been able to deploy more than 14, so I don't think I'll be able to even use everything I have now. If, uh, for whatever reason, that changes, then I have a little bit of extra silver to buy, like one or two more units where I need them. So, um, that will be it for our upgrading. And it looks like there's another event on the main map, but I believe we're out of time for today. So we're going to go ahead and end it here, and we'll check on uh, what's going on in 
um, Numantia in the next episode. I'm looking forward to seeing what Scipio Africanus can do for us, because uh, that's a new character that we haven't seen yet. But uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Numantia with you, and I look forward to seeing you guys back here for the next episode.